Before going to some example questions, I want to show you uh, what we mean with combined events, yeah? Because so far, actually, we've been talking about independent events occurring, yeah? For instance, what is the chance of rolling a five? Oh, there we go. Well, that was a chance of one over six, yeah? It was independent, it stood alone the event. It was just one thing. But now, for instance, if I have a coin, what is the chance that I, because with a coin, sorry, perhaps I should say that first, we have heads and tails, hopefully you are familiar with that. Now, what is the chance I throw a heads, so the chance of throwing a heads and a tails, yeah, when you throw it twice. Okay, so that is a combined event. Yeah, there are two things happening. I do it once and then I do it again. Now, what are my possibilities? Let's just have a look at the options. I could throw uh, a heads first and then throw a heads again. Yeah, but I could also throw a heads first and then tails. Yeah, what else is possible? Well, I could throw tails first and then tails again, or tails and then a heads. And those are my possibilities. So if they ask me, what is the chance that you throw a heads and a tails? Yeah, well, that is this one, and that is also that one, because they don't tell me it has to be heads first and then followed by a tails. No, a heads and a tails. Yeah, so I have two successes out of four possibilities. Yeah, so that's a chance of one over two in this particular case. Now, another way of looking at that. Yeah, because in this particular case you don't have so many you don't have so many options another way of looking at that is by multiplying and uh, I just like to show you uh, the following what is the chance that you throw heads first well that chance is one over two and then what is the chance of you throwing a tails afterwards well that chance again is one over two now because they this is a combined event the chance of throwing a heads and then the tails is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. So that is a chance of a quarter of this one happening. This one, to throw a tails yeah, and then a heads, yeah, is also a chance of a 1 over 4. Yeah? Because you multiply those probabilities then, these are combined events. Now, if the the question is, what is the chance of throwing a heads and a tails? And it doesn't matter in which order. So it could be heads, tails, and then, or it could be tails, heads. Yeah. You can say, well, that is one over four for this one. Plus, I have another chance there of one over four. So that is a chance of two over four. Now, again, for this particular example, perhaps if you just draw the sample diagram and then just look, well, I have two successes out of four possibilities. That's easier. But the multiplication is already a lot more useful when, for instance, you're talking about dice. Yeah. So what is the chance of rolling, let's say, um, a five and flipping heads? Yeah. So first I'm going to roll dice and I'm going to flip a coin. Okay. Um, so it's a combined event. Now. What are my options? I can roll a one and then a heads. I can roll a two and then a heads. I can roll a three and then a heads. I can roll a four and then a heads, a five and then a heads, and a six and then a heads. These are all possibilities which could happen. However, I can also roll a one and then a tails. Sorry, a two and then a tails. A three and a tails. You see, this is taking quite a long time. Imagine if you have five dice and six coins. But okay, just to show you, a five a tails and a six and a tails. So if the question is, what is the chance of rolling a five and flipping a head? Yeah, so that's a combined event. That is, only one of them is good. So I have one success out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve possibilities. Yeah, so that is the chance. However, and again, especially when you're talking about more dice and more uh, coins that you're flipping, it perhaps is easier to say, well, the chance of rolling a five, that is one out of six. Yeah, and because that next event depends on my first event, it's, an, it's, a, it's a combined event, I should say. What is the chance of flipping a head? That is one over two, and then I multiply them because both of them have to happen. Yeah, I have to roll five 
and flip a head. And one over six times one over two is one over 12. Yeah, that's the same answer. Yeah. So final question to illustrate this, and then I'm not going to draw the whole sample diagram. Yeah, final, final example. For instance, what is the probability of um, rolling uh, four, then an even number? Yeah, even number. Hopefully you can read that. And then flipping tails with a coin. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that again because you probably can't read that. Uh, what is the chance of rolling a four? Then I have to roll an even number and then I have to flip tails with a coin. Okay, well I'm not gonna draw that whole sample diagram, it's gonna take for ages, yeah? But this is a combined event. So the chance of, I'm just gonna say X happening and X is that uh, event, is, uh, well what is the chance of rolling a four? That's one out of six. And what is the chance of rolling an even number? That is, there we go, one out of two. Yeah, or three out of six if you like. Yeah, we know why that is, yeah? Because you have two, four, and six as even numbers, so three successes out of six possibilities. All right, and then flipping tails, and again, it's a chance of one over two, yeah? you have heads and tails. And because you have to do all three of them, yeah, it's a combined event, you have to multiply that, yeah? Because this is not a very big chance of rolling a four, then an even number, then flipping a tail, yeah? It's quite unlikely that that's going to happen. Yeah, it's actually a chance of 1 out of 24, yeah, so a 1 out of 24. Now, let me just quickly check if I have a coin in my pocket. Um, I probably don't because I don't have a lot of coins, um, so no, I don't. Well, anyway, you could try this at home um, if you want. Roll 4, well, a 5, you see, 1 out of 24. Roll 4, 5 again. Roll four, a two. Roll four, a five. Yeah, so you see the chance is quite low. One out of 24. Yeah? So you would expect if you do this 24 times, you're gonna roll one four, followed by an even number, followed by flipping tails. All right, combine events, you multiply those individual probabilities. I'll see you at the next video.